Okay, I realized that uh, QuickTime only worked works on Mac computers, so now I'm going to uh, try to do a video recording of my screen on how to video record your screen. So if you don't have a Mac, what you should do is open up uh, whatever whatever internet you use. I use Google Chrome, uh, and you're going to go to screencast o maticcom slash screen recorder. I will provide that in the email I send out and it will bring you to this page. There's no reason to upgrade. Uh, you'll click on launch free recorder. The first time you do this, it's going to download something onto your computer, but you will still have to use the website to reach it. So you might want to favorite this website, uh, put screen recorder, uh, and that will be very helpful. Um, and the first time you click on it, it's going to download. That may take a couple of minutes, but after it's downloaded, you can come back to the screen. And then whenever you need to record your screen, you're going to click launch free recorder. Uh, it will have a little pop up like this. You say open screen recorder launcher and it will take a couple of seconds, but it should pop up. Hopefully I'm not just messing this up. So it'll pop up and your screen will kind of look like this. Um, the first time it pops up, it will ask you to have access to your microphone, your camera. Uh, you need to allow access to those. And then this will pop up. And whenever you're ready to start recording, you will click record. And then it's going to do a countdown. And now people can hear your voice. So as soon as that countdown is over, make sure you're not saying anything you don't want your students to hear. And then you go about everything just as normal. So even though it's not showing right here, this should be your screen recording. So you'll do that, <clears throat> uh, do whatever work you need to do, uh, show the ch children. And then whenever you're done, you'll come down here to where it says pause and it will pause just like that. And then you will click done. What you want to do next is you want to save or upload. Um, I'm just going to go through saving on your computer. So, uh, if you want to mess with these two, you can do that. But right now we're just going to focus on saving. So I'm going to save as a video file, uh, select publishing options, type MP4, file name recording three. So you might want to change that to how to make an inference or whatever you are teaching about, uh, folder. I'm going to click on the folder and then you can decide where it goes. I'm going to make it go onto my desktop. Uh, I don't honestly know what that means. And then I'm going to click publish and it's going to take a little bit. Done. All right. I'm going to exit out of this. You don't need to do either of these. Just use the free one. And then it should be on here somewhere how to make an inference. So this is what I just saved and then I can click it. And now people can hear and your it, voice. So as soon as that, and I'm just going to make sure it got everything. Yeah. And it got everything that I did. So now that's saved on my computer and what I do, because typically video files are too long for, uh, to upload onto Microsoft teams is I've made a YouTube channel and create a YouTube channel up here in the top corner. It will say create a video and more upload video. Select a file and go find that file you just made. So it was called making an inference or how to make an inference. Select it. Uh, you can add descriptions. Remember your kids will be able to see this. Uh, so you might say this will help you with your assignment on Tuesday. Uh, you'll come down, you want to click yes, it's made for kids. That makes sure that uh, if for some reason your video gets advertising, they're not going to show some kind of weird commercial that's going to make you uncomfortable next time you talk to their parents. You'll click next. You don't really need to do anything on video uh, elements. You'll click next and then visibility. I do public. You can also do unlisted. The students should be able to get to it unlisted. Do not do private. <clears throat> and then you'll click publish. 
Uh, I'll publish this and then I'll delete it later. So you'll click publish. Uh, it usually won't take, won't go that quickly. It usually takes a couple of minutes to upload, but since this is a short video, and then what I do then is I click on it. And now people can I hear your voice so as soon as that. And then I will publish it into my Microsoft Teams assignment. All right, I hope that's not too confusing. I hope that all makes sense. Please email me if you have any questions.